Hey everybody, welcome in. Good day to all of you. Welcome to the channel. This is Prophetess Nikki G and I'm so grateful today that I get to come back and I get to encourage all of my family. Welcome Team Nikki G. Thank you for joining our channel memberships. Expect awesome things to come to your life. Expect good things to come to you. Expect God to come to your aid. Expect God to give you vindication. You can expect God to get right into that situation that you're in. You can expect God to get involved. Sometimes people may not want to get involved with what you're involved in, but God say, I want to get involved. God say, count me in. I want to let you know today, family, why God sometimes will bring a separation. Why God will allow space, why God would allow time, and why God would allow distance between you and them. You know the name. You know who these people are. God has reasons why he would allow space, why he would allow distance, and why he's going to allow time in between you and somebody. You know, sometimes we can meet the right person that God has for us, but we can meet them in the wrong time and we can meet them in the wrong seasons. Some of you have met your right person. You have. You have met your right person that God has for you, but you have met them in the wrong time. It was the right person, but the wrong time. It was the right person but it was the wrong season of your life. Both of you have a lot of things to go through to grow. You have, you have to mature. You have to develop. You have to become better people. Two broken people don't make a whole person. You know how we've been told that growing up? I know I've heard that down through the years, two halves together make a whole. It does not. Two people who are whole make a whole relationship, not 50-50. I have to be 100 and my spouse has to be a hundred. Your person has to be a hundred and you have to be a hundred. God say, I allow this space. God say, I ordained the space between you. I ordained the time. He did. And I allowed the distance in between you. You know, God loves us so much that God don't want us to obliterate and just totally destroy what he has for us. So God has to get involved and God has gotten involved. He's gotten involved because he's created this distance. He's created this space in between you and somebody that you probably care about. It wasn't the right time for you and that person. But God said, the time is now. God said, I'm going to create a circumstance. God said, I'm going to bring it all back together. That's God. God knows how to do things. We just got to learn how to trust God. We do. You got to learn how to trust him. You know, sometimes too, God will use people to speak into our lives. God will use people to speak to us. And sometimes, too, when God allows these distances and the time and the space in between per people, God wants us to go within and self-reflect self because we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do on the inside. And God is counting on us to get this together, family. He's counting on you. You met the right person, but you met him at the wrong time. It was the right season. It was the right, not the right season. And it wasn't the right time, but they were the right person. But God's going to bring it all back together again. And sometimes, see, this is why your prayer life is so essential. You have to pray on every single thing you do before you do it. Get God involved because he wants to make sure that you get in the right place and that you're headed in the right direction. Sometimes God will call space in between people because they may not be good for you. And God tells us to come out from amongst them. And be ye separated. Who is he speaking of? Anything and anybody that will cause you to go in an opposite direction that God didn't call you to go in, family. God said, come out from amongst them. He said, and be ye separated. Because what God called you to do, you just can't hang around certain people. It's just certain friend circles that you can't be acquainted with. And God is not going to let anything go right in it. He's not. Sometimes when you're with the wrong person, nothing in the world is going to go right because that person may not be for you and they may be for you, but they may not be for you in the time that you're with them. It may not. So let things happen the way they're supposed to. Everything happens the way that it's supposed to. We say it, but we got to really understand that that's true. Things happen exactly like they're supposed to. If you said this wasn't supposed to happen, this wasn't a part of my plan. I didn't pan out for my life to be this way. What is God's plan? We have to pray God's plan. Because God's plan for your life 
is so much better than what you can even imagine for your own life. And God said the space, the distance, and the time that's in between you and them. Yes, that time and that space and that distance in between you and somebody. God said, I have called that time and space and distance between you and them. He did that for a reason. He did that, family, so that you can heal from everything that you're going through with. So when God bring you back together, you will be whole. You don't want God to give you your kingdom person broken because you're going to destroy the blessing that God has for you. We you know we don't like the things when we don't like sometimes when God do things like this for us because sometimes you may feel like it's unfair. It's not unfair. This is love. God loves us enough. So he'll cause distance. He will. He'll cause space in between you and them. He'll cause time. You know, God will allow somebody to relocate somewhere else. It may be years down the road, but if it's from God, it's going to come back together again, family of God. Let God be God and just trust God, whatever path that he has you on. God has reasons for separating you and somebody. Sometimes God will separate you because that person isn't good for you. The people isn't good for you. God will call you even out of a business. He'll separate you from jobs. And it's not because you did something wrong. Your time is up. It's just like people in our life. Sometimes people that we had in our life, their time is up. They serve that purpose that God wanted them to serve, and they can be no more. You can't be afraid to embrace the new. You can't. Don't be afraid to embrace something different. Don't be afraid to embrace new people. Don't. Don't be afraid. Have faith and trust God. Because if God blessed you one time, don't you know God will bless you again? If God favor you one time, he'll favor you again. If God deliver you one time, God will deliver you again. God has so many ways to bless you. And God has so many ways to bring the right people in. He's weeding out the wrong people in your life. This is what God is doing. He's weeding out the wrong things. And he's weeding out the wrong people in your life. And he's doing his best. So don't get in God's way. God is planning the right people that he want in your life that's going to be beneficial to your life. Whatever you had, God said, I'm going to do something better than that. Whoever you had, glory be to God, no matter how well they treated you and they're not there anymore. God said, I have somebody else to do better than that. But sometimes, just pray. Sometimes God will cause this distance. He will. He'll cause space to get in between you and somebody. He will cause time to go by. Because you need to heal. Because sometimes, you know, we focus so much on somebody else and not ourselves. We neglect us. Have you ever been in that situation where you take all of your focus off of you? You take all of your attention off of you, your desires, your goals, and your plans. And you put all of that on somebody else. God said no. When God sees us doing things like this that are unhealthy, he is going to get involved. I am a living witness. Do y'all hear me? I am a living testimony. Don't ever take your focus off of what you need to do for you and your life. You mean well, but it's not healthy. It's unhealthy. God is doing his best to work with you, to get you back together, all the way back together. So when he give you the person, so when he give you that job, when he give you that opportunity, you're going to know how to handle it. We can't handle things when we're broken. And God teaches us too sometimes, family, when he calls the separations and distance, distances between us and them, he's showing us we don't know how to choose. Do you know we don't know how to choose the right way? This is why you pray and you see God, because we don't know how to choose. Think about the choices we made in the past over and over and over again. God is showing you you don't know how to choose. Hello, I'm here. Let me be a part of your decision making. Always, always, always allow God to be a part of your decision making. Because he's never going to let you get a bad choice. Never, family. We don't know how to choose. We don't know what's best for us. And God shows us that by the choices that we make or we have made, family. We don't know what's best for us. God knows what's best for us. And sometimes, if you don't want God to get involved, he's going to tell you straight up. He's going to step back. God is going to step back out of your way, and he's going to let you have it your way. And he's going to show you and I that we don't know what we're doing. 
We don't know how to choose. We don't know what's best for us. He's going to be patiently waiting because we're going to come right back to God, praying to God. So allow the space, the time, and the distance that God has allowed. Allow it to be. And in this time where you are in isolation, during the time that God has you set apart, during this time that God has you sanctified, family, you have to get to know God more and you need to get to know yourself more. You have to get more acquainted with you. You've got you've gotten more acquainted with other people, what they want, their desires. That's unhealthy because you've left yourself out. So this is why God is bringing separation. This is why God put you somewhere off by yourself. God set you aside by yourself. He won't let you deal with a lot of people no more right now, will he? You don't do a lot of things with people that you used to do you. That's for a reason. It's because God has something amazing that he's trying to get to you. And he wants you to have it so much. So remember this season that you're in. If you've been put away, if you've been set apart, if you've been in isolation, God say, I pull you out from amongst them. And I want you to be separated until the time that I say that is so. God allowed all these things to be the time, the separation, and the distance. He allowed it, family. You got to go through your healing. You got to complete it. Complete your healing. Complete it. Complete it. Because it's the little kid in us that would destroy our whole life. And God is not going to allow that little broken child inside of us into our future so we can destroy it. This is why we are having tantrum, temper tantrums right now in our present moment. Because God is purging us from these things. These things are unhealthy. And God is not going to allow us to carry all of this into our future to self-sabotage it. You self-sabotage your life enough. You have. So it's good that you're set apart. It's a good thing to be sanctified and to be set apart. It's an amazing thing for God to hide you, for God to put you away. You're going to be so much better, so much wiser, so much stronger when you come out and change your perspective and how you view things. Because when you have a, a, a negative perception about things, your outcomes are going to always be negative. It's going to always pull your energy down. It's going to always weigh you down. Lift up your spirits. You know how you lift up your spirit? By praise. Put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Change your mind by the way you think. And when you change the way you think, you're going to uplift your emotions. You're going to uplift your own spirit. It's a blessing that God has called time, space, and distance between you and that thing that you want, that person, that business, whatever that, that is, God has called that. And it's for a season. It's not eternally. It's not forever. It's just temporary. It's not forever, family. God loves you. I love you too. I want you to have a good day today. Thank all of you for joining Team Nikki G. I'm telling you, stay hooked up and stay connected because God is coming. He's going to come and he's going to get involved in your situation. And thank you for supporting becoming a master of divine consciousness. You are a co-creator. Go ahead and create the life you want by what you think and what you speak. You got to act like it. You got to walk like it. You got to talk like it. Glory to God. In the now. In your present moment. Let God be God. I love you, family. We're going to talk later if it be the will of the Lord. It's a good thing that God separated you. It's a good thing that God has hidden you. It is. God has done this to purge you. You needed to be healed before God give you whatever you've been asking him for. So you don't mess it up when you get it. God don't want us to mess up stuff when we get it. Did you know that? So think positive. While you're in this, I love you. We're going to talk later, family, if it be the will of the Lord. It's a good thing that God hid you. He saved you. He saved you from a lot of things. He saved you from a lot of hurt. He saved you from the wrong people. You hear me? God saved you from the wrong people. He did. This is why he set you off somewhere. This is why he won't let you do the things that you used to do. He won't let you go to places you used to go. He won't let you deal with the people that you used to deal with. The same desires you used to have, you don't have them anymore. That's because God is doing an inward work on the inside of you and he's trying to get something to you. Stop allowing the enemy to beat you in your mind to think that God is trying to get something away from you, to take something. No, that is Satan. He came to steal, kill, and destroy. God said, I came to give, not to take. God is coming to give you something, but he has different methods how he does it. It doesn't matter how he does it. It's going to get done. So don't get in God's way. Get out of God's way. 
and have your hands open to receive the goodness that God is getting ready to bring to you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, family. Like the videos so that we can reach more hurting and broken people for the glory of God. Love you. We'll talk later. Bye-bye.